Hello, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. Today we can see how to install and configure Memcache D caching server in CentOS 6. Normally Memcache, Memcache D is a caching server which helps in storing the cache for the data used by the browser which is retrieved from the main server. So when Memcache D is installed, it will act as an intermediator and if the prior search data is there in Memcache D's cache, then it won't allow the allow to retrieve from the main server so it helps to make the site works faster and can be efficiently helpful in reducing the server load now we can see how the installation process at first we can search min t is available in m repo m list mem catch d so it shows that the available package mem catch t for 64 bit so now I am giving install mem catch d. Now mem catch d is installed successfully. Now we go for configuration. The basic configuration for mem catch d is located in etc sysconfig mem catch d. So inside that the default port is double one two double one. And the username is memcached and maximum connection is 1024 and catchy size is 64 and the option is empty. We can change any contents up to our knowledge to the server needs. So here I am changing the port to double one triple two and in the options I am giving my server's IP 192.168.5.220 and just save the file. Now we have to check the memcached status for that etc init.d and memcached status. There you can see memcached is stopped. So now we have to start the process. Now memcached is started. Now we have to switch on the check config option for memcached for that check config hyphen hyphen levels and the default number is 235 and mem catch d on so now the check config option is turned on for m catch d now we can see uh, how the mem catch d is listening to our mentioned report for that i'm using the option netstat hyphen tulpn and I am gripping my port alone that is double one triple two so here we can see the TCP and UDP is listening to the double one triple two port which is mentioned for memcached and this is the process ID for memcached which is running background after the basic setups and configuration is completed now we have uh, we can check the statistics of the memcached so for that I can use mem catch t hyphen t o o l and now I'm giving my IP the server's IP that's 68.5.220 and stats that is stats. So here we can see the statistics for the installed mem catch t tool. And this is the basic setup and configuration for memcached tool and we can add the uh, any contents to the memcached tools main configuration file. So now we can see how to install the another dependency packages that is uh, we can use the memcached tool to PHP, Java, uh, Perl, Python etc. So now we can see how to install memcached tools uh, dependency package for Perl, PHP and Python. So at first we can install for PHP dependencies. So I am searching the file for PHP hyphen PECL hyphen mem catchy. This is the dependency package for PHP to configure mem catchd. So while listing, we can see the available package in M repos for 64 bits. So now I am installing this package M install. So now the PHP module for the memcache is installed successfully. So now we can run the PHP script 
to uh, catch the memcache so now we can run any php script to catch the memcache server next we go for installation for the perl cache that is the perl dependency for running memcached server so i am listing perl c a c h e cache and mem cache d so the package is available so now i am installing the package install so now the perl library is also installed so now we can run the perl scripts through memcached server so next we can check for python library so m list python mem catch d so the package is available for pen python mem catch d so now i am installing the python's library here install python mem catch d so now python's mem catch d library is also installed so here you can run python scripts so at last after the dependency packages are installed uh, you can uh, create the IP table rule to block the other IPs to access this memcached server. So here I have created the IP table rule to allow specific port double one triple two that is my server port to allow me to access the memcached server. So after that IP table should be restarted. So these are the basic setup of installation and configuration of memcached server. Thank you.